Hi friends, welcome. Today we are studying heat and mass transfer subject in which heat dissipation from extended surface chapter. We are going to study the objective questions. So the first question is, what is the purpose of using pins in a particular heat transfer system? To decrease rate of heat transfer, to increase rate of heat transfer, to maintain rate of heat transfer at constant rate, cannot say. These are the four options. And the question is, what is the purpose of using pins? So we have to answer this. So the purpose of using pins in a particular heat transfer system is to increase the rate of heat transfer. That is option number B. So if we look at the pins, there are some four types of pins. So to increase the heat transfer from a hot surface is the main purpose of pin. Temperature at the end of tip of a pin having uniform cross-sectional area is maximum minimum similar to that of heat generation temperature unpredictable. Here the question is temperature at the end tip of the pin. So it is minimum because at the end tip of pin the temperature is minimum. Therefore the answer B is correct option. Pins are used to increase the heat transfer rate from surface by increasing the temperature difference that is T1 minus T2 delta T we can say this as increasing the effective surface area that is by giving the more surface area for the pin increasing the convection heat transfer coefficient convection heat transfer coefficient that is edge decreasing the thermal conductivity that means they are telling that they are decreasing the thermal conductivity here they are asking that which of the above are true option a and b in second option 1 3 and 4 in c option 2 only in d option Four only. So, fins are used to increase the heat transfer rate from a surface by increasing the effective surface area. That is, in pins, the heat transfer rate is increased by increasing the surface area. If we put more number of pins here, that means that the, the number of pins with respect to their surface area that make it easy to heat transfer rate to get increase. Therefore, the option here uh, true one is option C because here increasing the effective surface area. They are increasing the effective surface area. Therefore, this option is correct. Pins are made as thin as possible. To reduce the total weight, accommodate more number of pins, increase the width of same profile area, improve the flow of coolant around the pin. So that means they are telling that the pins are made are very thin. So they are asking why these pins are very thin. Instead of why did we not make this making these pins are very thicker one. So there are options are reducing the total weight. So this is not the matter of concern. So accommodate the more number of pins. So if we have thin pins, so we can accommodate more number of pins on the given surface area. So that gives to easy heat transfer. Therefore option B is correct option. And whereas in C option, Increasing the width of the 
same propyl area this is also a wrong option improve the flow of coolant around the pin it is said that flow of coolant around the pin assume we are taking coolant as air then also this option is wrong because uh, there are two condition when there is a forced convection and pre convection in general example so flow of coolant is good in the forced convection but in the pre convection flow of coolant may not be a guaranteed thing therefore option d is also wrong a pin will be necessary and effective only when k is small and h is large k is large and h is large k is small and h is small k is larger and h is large so where k is thermal conductivity of the material and h is convective heat transfer coefficient so they are asking when the k and h values are large or same like so this, there are some particular values for k and h so when the pin will be effective so here the answer is we have pin efficiency equal to kp upon h into a that is square root of so when we have a larger value of k we will get the bigger value of pin efficiency whereas in case of larger value of h we get the lesser value of pin efficiency therefore by this equation we can tell that when the k is larger pin has higher efficiency that means k is large and h is small that is option c it is correct option which one of the following statement is correct pin should be attached on the side where heat transfer coefficient is high effectiveness of pin depend on thermal conductivity only pins must have small thickness for better heat dissipation in boiling heat transfer appliance pin will be very effective so here if we see the first option pin should be attached on the side where heat transfer coefficient is high this is a wrong option effectiveness of pin depend on thermal conductivity only this is also wrong option because effectiveness of pin does not depend only on thermal conductivity there are so many other parameters that effectiveness of pin may depend pins must have small thickness for better heat dissipation yeah because as i said earlier we prefer the pin should be very thin so this option suits with the for better effectiveness pins must have small thickness for heat dissipation better heat dissipation therefore option c is correct option whereas in option d the boiling heat transfer appliances pin will be very effective so this is a general thing so this is not also correct answer therefore option c is correct option pins on a given heat transfer surface will be more effective if there are dash number of dash pins so we have to fill this blanks so first option is pure thick so if we put the pure and thick so they are telling that pins on a given heat transfer surface will be more effective pins will be more effective if there are pure number of thick pins so thick pins and pure number does not make it more effective therefore option 1 is wrong large and thick so large is also not in the condition but thick here is a problem we prefer thin films so this is also a wrong answer 
लार्ज एंड थीन दे आर टेलिंग इफ देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पिंस दैट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ पिंस इज लार्ज वी हैव यूजिंग लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पिंस एंड दीज पिंस आर थीन पिंस सो ऑप्शन सी सूट्स टू द कंडीशन इफ देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ थीन पिंस देन द heat transfer surface will be more effective therefore option c is correct option if you look at the option d it is pure and thin pure means these pins are very pure but these are thin that is also not the correct option pin efficiency is defined as the ratio of heat transfer across the pin surface to the theoretical heat transfer across the equal area held at temperature of pin and constant temperature equal to that of base average temperature of pin none of above so we have pin efficiency equal to actual heat transfer from pin to the maximum heat transfer from pin entire pin surface were at pin based temperature therefore the answer here is temperature at pin end because it is there in the pin based temperature therefore option a is correct option as per the pin efficiency usually pin are pivoted to increase the rate of heat transfer but pin also act as insulation which one of the following non dimensional number decides that factor eckert number biot number poirier number and peset number so they are telling that pins are provided to increase the rate of heat transfer but some cases what happens is pins also act as insulation for the heat transfer rate so which one of the following non dimensional number decides that factor so here there are four options so biot number decides the factor where pin act as an insulation therefore option b is correct option the effectiveness of a pin will be maximum in environment with pre convection post convection radiation convection and radiation so the effectiveness of pin is with this expression km upon h so pin efficiency is proportional to 1 upon h since we have the coefficient of convective heat transfer coefficient that is h kilo watt per meter square kelvin so for forced convection this h value is high whereas for pre convection this h value is very low so when the h value is low the effectiveness of pin is high because h is in the denominator therefore we choose the pre convection that is option a that is effectiveness of pin will be maximum in environment with pre convection pins are used to increase the heat transfer rate from surface by increasing temperature difference increasing effective surface area increasing convective heat transfer coefficient none of above so pins are used to increase the heat transfer rate by increasing the effective surface area the surface area is main factor therefore option p is correct option 
and here increasing temperature difference is not the matter of case because temperature difference does depend on the working conditions so we cannot control on the temperature difference increasing convective heat transfer coefficient so for convective heat transfer coefficient we don't have the exact picture of value of convective heat transfer coefficient therefore this option is also wrong option effectiveness of a pin with insulated tip is there are four equations therefore the effectiveness of a pin with insulated tip is tan h into ml upon ml that is option b is correct option addition of a pin to the surface increases heat transfer pin efficiency is equal to square root of kp upon h into a is so they are asking the value of pin efficiency is that is equal to 1 is that is equal is that a greater value than 1 is that a lesser value than 1 is that a greater value than 2 so we always know efficiency is never be 100% so that is equal to 1 therefore option a is wrong option second option they are telling that efficiency is more than 1 so that means it is more than 100% that is also not possible so option b is also wrong option c is less than 1 yes efficiency less than 1 is universal condition so this is possible so option c is correct option whereas option d is greater than 2 this is also a wrong option therefore option c is correct option if you have any questions or comments paste in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe because subscription is free and also you get the notification of upcoming videos and please like and share Thank you